Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I am Melissa and I talk about missing children and my case. I know that y'all could probably see that I'm in a new, new, uh, I have a new background. It's because I'm in my living room at my mom's house. Yes, I still live at my mom's. Trying to get out of it, but you know, with everything going on in the world and how everything is expensive, I'm still here. So I'm in my living room. Um, if you hear some noises, my daughter's playing with her lap, 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 tablet. Um, she's watching Trolls, but I do have the TV on mute right now. So, yeah, I am Melissa, and I talk about missing cases of children. So today I do have a new missing child case. So we're going to be talking about the case of Tina Lim. Um, I've never heard of this case until I was doing my research and trying to get a good list of all the missing cases, list cases that I wanted to speak about. So this one, I've never heard of it before. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So Tina Lim was a 14 year old student who was last seen in Chala Chuck Kane Sapora on June to uh, June 22nd of 2002. Yeah, my English is bad, you know, so this I'm, I'm gonna do apologize for some of these names. That I'm gonna maybe butcher it a lot. She is from um, she is uh, I want to say she's from China. I may be wrong. There's not a lot of information on this case. It's just a limited uh, information. She's not even. I don't even think she's in the Charlie Project website. I looked for her. If I'm wrong, let me know. But there's just, just so limited of information on her case. But I still wanted to bring it out here and you know, let y'all know about it. So Tina um, was born in 1988. Was the eldest child. Oh, she was born the year I was born. It doesn't even say the day of her her birth. She, they just say the year. Um, of Lim Boom. Sometime after Tina was born, Lim divorced his wife, remarried, and had two sons and one daughter. With his new wife, Tina remained under the care of Lim. At about 4.15 on June 22nd of 2002, Tina then secondary to student United Secondary School. Do you know, can you put that down, please? Sorry, guys. She's playing her. Oh, I won one. I am so sorry, guys. Y'all remember the fur babies? The fur, the fur, fur blips? They have some new ones, just in case y'all want one. Um, was last seen heading out of her Cha Cha King flat to pay her alien grandfather a visit. Before leaving, Tina called her aunt, who stayed in the same block as Tina's grandfather in, Ju in Juana. She never showed up at her grandfather's house. According to Lem, at the time of her disappearance, she had only 10 on her wallet. Did not bring any clothes with her, and her passport was still at home, which made it very unlikely she was planned to run away. Janelle, turn it down a little bit, guys. I'm so sorry. She's playing, um, um, what is that game that she likes? Oh my god. Um, uh, following Tina's disappearance, Tina's father, Lim, boom, kept, kept put up over. A 7,000 missing person poster when he could not find Tina in Sing Singapore. He continued his search in neighbor neighborhooding Malaysia and in areas including Pingama, Op, and Sarawak. I'm so sorry. Even in the border with Thailand. Aline's contact number was printed on the poster. He received a number of print calls every day. Some of which would even say that Tina met with an accident. None of these callers provide any useful clues about Tina's whereabouts. And these type of calls piss me off. Because you see a family who is suffering. Who is looking for their family members. And for them to get prank calls is just it's crazy. During his research, Limp left his three youngest children under the care of his wife. However, his wife had to work long hours to support the family. This led to disagreement in the couple divorce. Tina's grandfather, who she had left to visit on the day she met, went missing, died on October 28th of 2003. Tina's father put up a note on the newspaper obtaining, which read, Tina, your grandfather, who loved you very much, have passed away. 
please come and see him for the last time one on november on uh, november 1st the last day of the funeral wake the family received several ministry mystery phone calls Liam took the call but the caller remained silent police investigations traced the phone call from call to a home in pca rias after interviewing the family resident in the location the police determined that Tina did not make the call from the household. However, Tina's family was not convinced and believed the call did not come from Tina. After the accident at Tina's grandfather's funeral, Tina was not seen or heard again. In 2010, Lean declared Tina dead and absent with the help of a lawyer. As of December 2020, Tina is still missing. In 2004, the disappearance of Tina Lynn was portrayed in Singapore television series missing the fourth episode of the first season and that is the case of Tina like I said this is this case really doesn't have much of a of a it doesn't have much information and it was really really hard to search like I've never heard of this case I don't think nobody's ever talked about it here in the United States um and, and it's, it's, it's crazy how you don't, you know, I mean, I think no matter where you're from, I think every missing case, sh children should be talked nationwide because you just never know. And I f really do feel bad for the, for the dad. Um, it, I wouldn't imagine how broken he could be that his daughter has been missing and it's just, was there one time in the next, he's gone. And, um. It's, it's sad it's really sad and i hope that you know if somebody knows anything they could come forward we're in 2024 i think it's time for these families to know what's going on and where the charles at if she was still alive she would have not missed her grandfather um funeral i mean like how do you disappear from leaving the house going to your grandfather that's just crazy but guys i'll be back soon with another story i hope you have a great day and y'all take care of yourself and y'all stay blessed bye